Hey everybody, Hat Creature here. Uh, I finally got a. Uh, so far, my next favorite outfit for David. Uh, it's uh, I don't really like gold, but uh, for once, I, I actually found something gold that I like. It's awesome. I love it. I look good today. How you doing? Anyway, this video isn't about me. Not today. This video is actually about Dead by Boycott. Uh, you might be able to see in the upper right hand corner that my name is still Dead by Boycott, but uh, possibly, who knows, I don't know, possibly my microphone is still on. The movement may actually have uh, convinced the developers to actually care about their game. Uh, about two hours ago, DBD Leaks found some coding, found some things. Basically, Behavior made a new branch called the User Acceptance Testing or the UAT. Uh, the whole point of this branch uh, is to uh, have we produced the result that customers want? You know, a very important non-popular question that Behavior never asks. So it's shocking that they're actually making this. Uh, it may or may not be because of the movement. Personally, uh, there's no reason for them to, after five years, to suddenly make a branch that actually cares about their customers uh, when they should have done it around year three. Uh, you know, I'm giving them some slack. Maybe in the first two years, they don't know if the game's even gonna last that long. But along the third year, uh, when they had Ghostface, I think it's time to actually start listening to your customers. But they did it after five years, so I'm assuming maybe it's because of the boycott. But the boycott moves really small, and a lot of their little whisperers, their foggies, are going out and saying that there's not enough people to make a boycott matter. But I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna say that uh, any popular content creator who says that there's not enough people for the movement, in my opinion, they're trying to trick their own fan base into saying don't do. It. They say that it's not gonna work, that, n that there's not enough people, but if they're popular and they're in the community and they have their own community of, I don't know, like a hundred thousand people, twenty thousand, ten people, if they have people who actually listen to them and the thing they're listening to is that there's not enough people, then they're telling their people intentionally not to boycott without actually saying it. Meaning they don't want you to sabotage their own way of life. They're not saying it because they don't think it'll work. They're saying it because their community watches their Dead by Daylight content and that's it. And they know that possibly that they won't have a community if they don't play Dead by Daylight. So they don't want you to boycott it because then you won't watch them anymore. But then again, there are people out there, I'm not naming any names, but there are people out there who generally feel that Maybe the boycott's a bit too harsh, and that's fine. It's all good. Everybody has their own opinions. Whether you believe in the boycott or not, that's up to you. But anybody who says there's not enough people, you know, there will be enough people if you join in, dipshit. That's how it fucking works. But anyway, after five years, behavior's finally doing it. Is it because of the boycott? We don't know. Uh, I say we should not stop. I say we should continue the boycott. If you don't know what the boycott is, it's basically just, you know, don't buy anything for three months, that's it. Just don't buy any costumes for three months. Uh, you know, buy it if you want to, but that's what the boycott is. Uh, I changed my name to Dead by Boycott so people can see that it's happening. But that's basically all the boycott is. It's nothing serious. You can still play the game. But in my opinion, if we stop the boycott after seeing this, then that's doing the same thing that we've always been doing is letting them win. Behavior doesn't care about you. It took five years, they still fuck up everything, and then ask you to give them more money. And then, even when you're sad, they don't make things better. They just give you a little glitter on all the crap and say, hey, it got better, right? Thanks for showing up. So, no. Uh, if we stop the boycott, they'll, that, that's what they want. They want you to stop caring, just like they do. So keep caring keep the boycott up because the moment we stop is the moment we're giving them what they want. They want you to be lazy. They want you to half-ass it. They want you to stop. 
So if you keep going, it's telling them that we mean business. It's, it's, we care about the game. We want the game to be good. We care about it. We, we want it to matter to them. So, and that's all. So personally, even though they have uh, something that is technically the PTB, the player test build, the whole point of a PTB is to uh, check for bugs, make sure it works, right? Hmm, they don't use the PTB for that. That's why they have the UAT now. So, they have two teams. Their own official team, and then the community. Amazing! We're actually working together. Wow. Fucking weird. So anyway, that's all I have for you today. Let me know your thoughts. Um, I see this as one step. But this will be two steps back if we stop now. So, you know, I'm not buying anything because I don't have any money. <laughs> but even if I did have money, uh, I'm not going to buy anything with real money. I still have uh, some Oryx cells left over. Uh, and the only thing I'm going to be getting with those Oryx cells that I have left over from the Rift are uh, a top hat. No, no, uh, I think it's a stovepipe hat with a Deathslinger. Uh, that's like the only thing I'm getting. I, uh, anyway. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a great day.